welcome ladies and gentlemen i present you some really really special series best league to you this is about people that spend a lot of time and effort and creativity in their builds trying to maximize it ma ma maxim maxim oh fuck max try to maximize them aha there we go They're trying to maximize with the random generator of locations that I've been spending stupid amount of time to find uncomfortable for the players uh, locations and the reason of that is that we want to see them how they perform in location that they might not fight before of course you might have been asking if there are any rules to these games and of course they are if a person lose two games in a row from the um, random generated map from the from the software, he have the opportunity to choose to generate a new map. If the other side lose two games in a row from this new random generated map, he have the same option to choose another map. And then the third map, whoever wins, wins. Uh, one of the biggest rules here is to players need to fight in a full strength all the time. So what does that mean? That means that we, every single time after the battle ends, uh, uh, they has to be waiting until their cooldowns are up and they can full fight on full strength. Um, the next thing is no world buffs. I've been talking with players and we've been discovered that this is pretty big unfair for the player and they are not going to be allowed in this tournament. Um, everything that you've been working hard for potions, grenades, uh, equipment, enchantments, whatever you possess that you've been spending time for it, you can use it into the game. Other thing that um, um, in, it's allowed, if you, uh, because some of the terrains are really fucked up, um, if you fall down from the terrain or something, no matter if you fall down lava, water, grass, rocks, you're out. Other opponent, take a point. So in these locations, be careful, <laughs> don't fall down. So maybe you're asking what happened with the loser, winners and the losers. Winners in this tournament going uh, from stage one going to stage two, and they're waiting of opponent of stage stage two so they can continue uh, further. Uh, the losers losers going to the losing bracket. Uh, losing bracket is a bracket that gives them a second chance to compete in the tournament. Of course, um, we're gonna fight it in the Alcatraz, the jail. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mean place, and yes, World of Warcraft have a jail in Al like Al Alcatraz. Um, that we're gonna go inside there, and the players who are in a losing bracket has to compete in one uh, best of one game. Of course, I understand that the game developers of Ascension update the game fix it, nerf it, um, changing, put new stuff. Those people that even lose to the losing bracket, they have the chance to compete in the next tournament, more hunger and drive to win. And of course, they are their choices if they want to come because they can spend a little bit more time, discover their character a little bit more and find something new maybe new mechanic or something and they are allowed to compete and fight so yeah into the rest of the video we are just gonna see how these two builds that you're gonna see to today that gonna fight uh com compete and perform against uh my frost mage and i want to tell you some of the people in this tournament they're um i cannot even cast one frost bolt and my character is all about frost bolts okay so they're pretty legit. After that, we're just gonna explain a little bit more of their characters, analyzing some a little bit more explaining of the character. Then we're just gonna jump in into the best of three games, and in the end of those games, we're gonna have data and analyzing uh, what happened, performance, damage, absolutely everything that is um, interesting information. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, the first player that we're gonna see it's uh, TP Moonglade. Uh, that's a melee hunter that have big amounts of pressure of uh, his opponents, especially if they're casters. Um, basically, he's using three uh, really, really important parts of his character. Uh, that's a legendary uh, enchant deadly bite, plus a raptor and mongoose bite. 
Um, these three spells synergizing pretty well. He using Hemorrhage as well to boost the damage of those spells. Uh, he has been picking from the Warrior Passive Tree the Deadly Wounds. Uh, that gonna increase the bleeding effect of the target and the physical damage that target takes. Um, which, is, which is boosting his damage basically. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's jump into the battle against me and... Uh, Guys, you, you're gonna see how this guy absolutely smoked me. Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> that's really annoying. You fit for sure. Holy shit, I just couldn't move. Let's talk about the other player, Orc Dot. That's a shadow tank PvP character that uses dots with the legendary enchantment for Curse of Agony. That every single time Curse of Agony deals um, more stronger damage until the target cannot breathe, move, walk, or whatever you can fucking imagine. He is a demon pet that can reduce the damage taken he absorbs some of the damage of the character and that's perfect because this character put a lot of talent points in defensive mechanics so he can take a lot of damage uh, he uses of course ice barrier and mana shield while he's shielding himself and reduces all the damage taken he casts shadow burn and mind flay to finish off his opponents all right, let's see how he perform against my type of character. <laughs> I couldn't stand a chance about this one, nice. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's time to choose where the fights are going to be. Burning steps in the middle of Black Rock Mountains. Congratulations! Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is the first battle of TP Moonglade against Orc Dot. Um, let's see what will happen. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Orc Dot immediately start casting his uh, dots on him. Of course, TP Moonglade start to put a lot of pressure on him. Um, trying to put as much damage as possible against Orc Dot. Of course, Orc Dot puts all of his mechanics of... Orc Dot have a lot of defensive mechanics that uh, right now are uh, reducing a lot of the damage of TP Moonglade. Um, Curse of Agony start to stacking quite a lot against TP Moonglade and sooner or later it's gonna deal a lot of damage to him. Uh, Orc Dot puts a lot of... Uh, TP Moonglade puts a lot of pressure on uh, Orc Dot, Orc Dot trying to escape, puts a lot of dots on him, shadow burn him, try to run away. His pet is actually stunned out, he's pretty low HP, any second now maybe he will... There we go, his defense, last defensive mechanics, it's over. TP Moonglade puts a lot of pressure on him, Curse of Agony put a lot of stacks. And any second now, he have no more mana for the mana shield to absorb damage. And the first game, it's in TP Moonglade side. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, battle number two. Uh, if Orc Dot lose this battle as well, he has opportunity to choose to generate a new randomized map from the software and uh, that could be a good opportunity for him. Orc Dot immediately casts his pet to stun the target, start to put dots on the target. Of course, if Moonglade put his uh, usual pressure against the opponent and uh, do, pretty doing quite a bit of a damage. 
uh, to org dot already uh, the curse of agony again stack up five times six times seven times and soon they're gonna be a lot a lot of stacks um org dot is a little bit in um winning side of that particular moment he has to cast a new curse of agony there we go he cast it the stacks are continuously going and fluent he getting uh, tp moonglade gets a lot of low hp he has popping his defensive cooldowns um uh, he has to do something real quick or things gonna get bad tp moonglade almost losing and he's casting his bubbles to cut out all the stack of curse of agony heal himself on full and against or dot that he's been no mana for his mana uh, because of his mana shield and this battle looks over uh for our dot um he doesn't the, yeah that was his last defensive mechanics mana shield gonna reduce all of his mana he tried to blink and escape but tp moonglade have too much pressure on the board and the second game is for tp moonglade now or dot each choose has to choose if he wants to choose uh, another map or he can stay uh, in this location uh, let's see his answer he says no so we continue into the next battle all right game number three um as usual or, or not put the pets to go against him the pet is frozen he tries to escape of course tp moonglade put the pressure on the opponents like uh, always curse of agony start to stack on tp moonglade he has been feared and that's uh, kind of a bad oh, okay he heal up to till full but the stack still is the same stacks are still the same Orc dot has a li uh, he it's a little bit of a trouble. Hammer of Justice is out. That means he doesn't have a stun uh, for quite a bit of a time. The shields are on him. He absorb a lot of damage. His mana going down because of the mana shield. Um, uh, the dots are pretty much a lot on TP Moonglade. Sooner or later they're gonna start dealing a lot of damage. He again interrupt um mind fly in uh, of orc dot the game start be pretty pretty close uh tp moonglade needs to heal up he tries to or just tries to survive another interruption uh he has his defensive uh, shields but he don't have any more of a mana tp moonglade puts a bubble and that's about the stacks of curse of agony and this game i think it's over for orc dot there we go uh too much pressure of tp moonglade too much pressure and orc dot his mana go out pretty 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 fast uh, because of the mana shield all right so the winning side is tp moonglade he continue in the session two about orc dot he's going to lose in bracket which he have another chance to fight and come back to the tournament against somebody who has been a lose before um let's go into the characteristics all right ladies and gentlemen it's time to see a little bit of the characteristics of the both players let's start with the winning side um as we can see the uh, mongo's bite and raptor strike plus a deadly bite did a lot of the job here of course he has been even opportunity to use counter attack i think this is because uh, that has been activated because of of the path of work dot um he used deep wound and hemorrhage hemorrhage doesn't have that much of a damage here just because um the most the main abilities that he used is uh mongo's by the raptor strike and after the cooldown of them um he has been using uh the hemorrhage and uh, that's about it this is the characteristic of it we can see that the uh, mongo's bite uh, deals uh, that's the main ability with the deadly bite um yeah so this is the characteristic of what damage um uh, tp moonglade uh, dealt let's jump into the orc dot okay so into the side of the orc dot we can see that the, the main damage of it is a curse of agony shadow war pain corruption um that's his main three dots of course curse of agony is one of the deals the most amount of damage just for the single fact 
of the Mystic uh, Legendary Enchantment that increase the Curse of Agony damage every single time and stacks until the target cannot longer move. Um, I'm a little bit surprised that Shallow Wu Pain deals a little bit more damage than Corruption. Uh, then we can see the Shallow Burn, Mind Fly, uh, Mind Flay, and Deadly Coil. Um, so this is the main damage sources of the Orc Dot, and that's about it. So thank you guys for wa so thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like the tournament and what you see, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the tournament you don't like it you don't like anything about it put the thumbs down and put really 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 nasty comment and comment sessions below subscribe for more and see you into the next battle when we are gonna see how another two new titans fight for the crowd peace